So our mobility balls are a great way not only to train the shoulder, which I think people misunderstand, but to actually chain the, the entire kinetic chain. So we know the shoulder works with the core and the opposing hip. That's why exercises like bird dogs are not only a great way to help things like low back issues and core stability, but we can also enhance the shoulders. What the mobility balls do is they allow us more options on how to train that kinetic chain. So what Jessica's going to do at first is she's going to start working through the three patterns. Now you can naturally pick just one pattern when you're doing this, but I'm just going to show you the three patterns that are available to us. So if she goes into the drill, that would be one pattern, sort of that traditional diagonal pattern that you would see now more of a lateral pattern and more into a reverse pattern. So the reverse and wax Jessica would be easiest. The lateral would be second and the most difficult because of the leverage is creating upon the core would be the most difficult. So this gives us options of progression too. If people also have lack of core stability, they're gonna have a hard time extending their arm out. So being able to bring the arm back will allow us to start training more reflexive stability of the core in a more progressive means. Plus it allows us to get into the shoulder and then the lats and the, some of the lower traps that can be weak in a lot of people. Once Jessica goes through those patterns, let's show it one more time just and see how she times it with the legs. But she could definitely not use the legs as well if you want to use that as a progression too. She's eventually going to use a spiraling pattern. So now we can get into circular patterns. So you can do this either direction, but traditionally it's a little easier to come up and then wrap the arm into a circular pattern. So now we're getting more ranges of motion into that shoulder. We're training more qualities of reflexive stability, anorex chest. So we're starting to get more of how the body has to react to the weight actually moving as Jessica moves the ball around her body so that we have to stabilize the pelvis and the core much differently. Plus, by having a little weight in the hand that goes ahead and two, trains a lot of the small stabilizers into the shoulder as well. So this is a way you can take the bird dog and progress it to be a much more challenging and effective exercise for whole body integration. So we can also enhance our mobility, especially hip and shoulder mobility at the same time. So if Jessica's in a half kneeling position, if the right leg is back, the right arm is gonna be below. She's gonna pretend that she's holding a bigger ball in between the two. And what she's gonna do is as she inhales, she's gonna spiral both arms across when one is pressing down and one is gonna to try to point up towards the sky. Now we can do this very progressively. So if she's gonna inhale, and then as she goes up, she can exhale. Now, if she were to get stuck, she can do some contrasting inhales and exhalations as well to increase that range of motion. So as she does it again, now she can also go into some thoracic rotation this way to open up that connect chain of the shoulder and the hip. We're also getting stretching of the obliques in the area as well. So this is a almost more efficient way to attack hip mobility because we're also getting shoulder mobility and stability at the same time. We're integrating breath work, so we're calming down and regulating the nervous system, and we're allowing the body to take off the brakes to allow for better mobility. So we know that diagonal patterns like PNF are really important for shoulder health and function because they can actually connect those connect chains. So what we can do is we can use our mobility balls to actually create a little bit more dynamic versions of these movements that really help not only stabilize and gain mobility of the shoulder, but teach it how to work with the rest of the body, like the core, the hip, and the lower leg and foot. So what Jessica's gonna do, this generally is easier to start at the top position, is she's gonna get in our sprinter stance, so heel toe. This arm is pressed out with palm up just to get a little brace in the core. This is a diagonal motion, and what she's gonna do is she's gonna pull both balls down as she hinges, and then she's gonna drive through her feet to open up her body. So again, she's using this ball to create some core stability so she doesn't over rotate in the movement. And this arm is connecting again to that natural chain of the core, hip, and the lower leg. So this is another important way that you can teach not only shoulder stability and mobility, but you're also teaching factors like deceleration of the arm, which is so important for overall health and injury resilience of that shoulder joint because a lot of injuries to the shoulder are from a lack of shoulder stability but also lack of ability to decelerate with the rest of the kinetic chain so this next exercise was actually inspired that re from research jessica found showing how these integrated movements are more efficient at rehabilitation and building strength in the shoulder joint now it's also great too because it's going to work on a key element that a lot of people don't realize most shoulder injuries happen through lack of ability to control deceleration so if you think about throwing for a second, if I don't move well through my hips and my core, then my arm and my shoulder are taking up much more forces trying to decelerate my arm 
as I release the ball. And that's where a lot of athletes end up hurting their shoulders as well as recreational athletes. So this is a great way of teaching these concepts, but also learning how to integrate from the ground up in the chain. So in a moment, just gonna go ahead and get into a little bit of what we call a bow stance. So if you take your feet straight ahead, you split one foot back, so you're at 45, you're about in that bow stance. You can go as long as you want, but it's good to start conservative when you're learning this drill at first. If you wanna turn this foot a little bit inwards to make it a little bit easier in your mobility, that's fine. We just don't wanna get anything crazy like that. So what it's gonna be is about weight transfer, so she's learning to use her feet back and forth. So what we're gonna use is our new mobility balls here. And the reason she's using two is because on the other hand, she's gonna create just some slight tension to help her with her stability. So I'll let her go through the motion a few times. So what she's doing is really the arm is being moved by her lower body, her hips, and stabilized through her core. So you see a reaching action to that opposing side and how she's going ahead and shifting weight back and forth. So she's getting this great external rotation of the arm, but also learning how to decelerate that arm in the same process. So again, this is one of those drills that's great because it's not only teaching one thing, we're teaching the importance of how to create force from the ground. You don't punch with your arm, you don't throw with your arm, you don't swing with your arms. It's all a byproduct of what happens through the rest of the body. So teaching these qualities will allow people to not re-injure or have more problems with their shoulders in the future. And when you try to use it in more functional ways, it's gonna perform at a higher level. But we're also getting core stability, we're getting hip mobility, we're even getting ankle mobility through the exercise. We're learning how to decelerate, not only through our shoulder, but through our back as well. So again, teaching a lot at once. Eventually you can use breath in it where you're going to have an exhale as you come down and inhale as you pull the weight up exhale as you go down inhale as you pull the weight back up and by integrating some weight into the hands you're also integrating a lot of the shoulder musculature again that's going to be a lot more beneficial in enhancing the results we get from these exercises